हेलो एवरी वन आई एम दिव्यांशु कुमार एंड टूडे आई एल बी डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन स्क्वेड सब सीक्वेंस दिस वॉज अ क्वेश्चन ऑफ कोर्ट सेफ अप्रैल लॉन्ग चैलेंज टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी सो इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी वर गिवन दैट वी हैव एन एरे ए सच दैट ए वन ए टू दिस एरे वी वर गिवन एंड देन वी वर गिवन दैट अस देर इज अ स्पेशल काइंड ऑफ कंटेनस सीक्वेंस सच दैट द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ दीज सीक्वेंस इज इक्वल टू द डिफरेंस ऑफ टू स्क्वेयर्स पी एंड क्यू पी स्क्वेयर माइनस क्यू स्क्वेयर नाउ दिस पी एंड क्यू वर अप टू अस वी कैन चूज मीन्स लाइक वी हैव टू जस्ट फाइंड द टोटल नंबर ऑफ कंटेनस सब सीक्वेंसेज ऑफ एरे ए सच दैट दिस दिस कंडीशन होल्ड्स वॉट आई मीन इज सपोज आई हैव एन एरे वन टू थ्री फोर एंड फाइव सो बेसिकली द कंटेनस सब सीक्वेंस मीन्स आई कैन स्टार्ट Uh, one, I can have one. I can have one two. I can have one two three. I can have one two three four. Uh, so basically, any continuous one two three four five, or I can start from two and three. So basically, you can say like any con uh, a continuous subsequence can be defined as uh, deleting n number of characters from uh, left and deleting uh, x number of characters from right. So basically, just any continuous a uh, small sub array you can say contain a sub array of this uh, given array uh, would lead to such result now this was the question that was all and then we have to output the total number of uh, sub sequence we can make so this question required some of the you know understanding or hints or observations you can say so let's go with that and then so the first hint was uh, difference of two squares now difference of two squares any difference of two squares is either an odd number or a multiple of 4 so basically it can be of the form 4n plus 1 4n plus 3 or 4n it cannot be of the form 4n plus 2 so only form which is which cannot be a factor uh, or which cannot be expressed as difference of two squares is 4n plus 2 so right and then basically uh, second hint was modular multiplication so basically if i am multiplying two numbers a b mod 4 now this is nothing but multi same as multiplying a mod 4 into b mod 4 whole mod 4 right and third hint was if you have 4 as a factor and then you multiply any number of terms it does not matter that will again result in 4 4 as a factor and suppose you have 2 into 2 then you will get 4 again right and then again it won't matter how many times you multiply any number so this was all that of the hints that were required to solve this question now i would suggest you to pause the video now and try to solve this question okay so let's start with the solution so basically if you see here so basically any two squares is represented 4n plus 1 or 4n plus 3 or 4n so basically i only have 4n plus 2 as like uh, the false positive case right so basically i can say that uh, the product mod 4 if it is equal equal to 2 then i am at a wrong position then i cannot give get uh, you know uh, get this product as uh, the difference of two squares and then when it is asking me like okay the continuous range so basically the first thing i can say is like uh, when i am doing like a b mod 4 and then it is getting converted to a mod 4 uh, dot b mod 4 whole mod 4 so the first thing i can do is i can convert my array a to a i uh, each of the array elements as a i mod 4 now when i am doing this i will get only uh, uh, you know four uh, uh, four values 1 0 1 2 and 3 because i'm doing a mod 4 so i will get only four values here so each of the array will only contain 0 1 2 or 3 right because i did a uh, mod 4 right now if you see uh, any continuous part here right so basically what i mean by continuous part is like suppose the array contains 0 1 2 3 0 2 3 0, 0 and something like this so basically if you see here uh, now if you see a continuous part so basically if i start from 0 i can go up to any number because like 0 into any number will give me 0 and 0 is a factor of 4 uh, so, uh, sorry 0 is a multiple of 4 right so basically i will have 
uh, means like if I start from this number or if I start from even from this number means like from any of the zeros then I can have any number of uh, you know subsequence which do contain this zero that will give me a positive case now right now even but the only case which will give me negative right that is if I have only a 2 here right why so because even if you multiply a 2 with all of the odd numbers right then you will get only 2 as a factor here and again if you will take mod 4 again you will get uh, you know then this won't be a multiple of uh, 4 in any way right so basically uh, I can go up to at max here right I can select all the odd numbers with a single 2 right then this will give me you know uh, a wrong product now only this subsequence will give me a wrong product now if I just increase the sequence length to 0 then I will have a 0 as multiple of this subsequence which which will be a positive case because like then it will be a multiple of 4 and obviously that will be divisible by uh, you know 4 also if you just consider any of the odd numbers here like suppose just 1 or just 3 or let's just say here was another 3 and then 1 3 so basically all the continuous odd sequences would also result in a positive manner because uh, you know multiple of odd number is again an odd number right so 1 into 3 will give you 3 here right so basically which will again be of the form 4n plus 3 where n is just an arbitrary number I'm just considering anything right so basically it will again be a odd number and odd number as you know we can express it as a multiple as the difference of two square so only case where you will not get uh, uh, you know the product as equal to the difference of two square is nothing but when you will have the array with only two or the odd numbers uh, 1 3 1 3 because only odd numbers possible are 1 3 and no other possible cases right also you will even if you have another 2 then this 2 into 2 will result in 4 and 4 mod 4 as we know is 0 so this will be a factor of 2 uh, you know will be a factor of uh, 4 again right so basically uh, so you have to just consider the largest window which contains a single 2 and uh, only odd numbers so basically the largest window where you get only single 2 and no 0 or any 2 right so basically the largest window you can make that will be the no number of now suppose from this window starting from this window I can select uh, containing this 2 containing this 2 how many subsequences bad subsequences I can make so basically uh, the then uh, suppose let, let me just write it 1 3 2 1 3 right this is the largest window I can get whose product will be odd right so basically what I can do is I can just select this 2 this will be one odd subsequence and then I can just select one here or you know this uh, as a whole here was one one more one right or this so basically uh, what will be the total number of subsequences I can make from this array which are containing this single 2 suppose it has L number of elements to its left and R number of elements to its right so basically I will have L plus 1 into R plus 1 why so because you can have the starting of the array as one of the L elements or number to itself okay and the ending as one of the r elements or number 2 itself right so basically then you will have l plus 1 into r plus 1 bad subsequences now bad subsequences you got that is nothing but summation of the largest windows into l plus 1 into uh, l plus 1 into r plus 1 right so basically where L and R are the number of elements to the left of 2 and the number of elements to the right of 2 such that there is no 0 or 2 in between right so this is kind of a sliding window approach and then basically uh, also we know that the maximum number of subsequences you can get at the continuous subsequences is nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 right 
So basically what you can do is just subtract back subsequences from the total number of subsequences and you will have your result. That's it. Right. Now, uh, one thing more uh, I left is like how we will get the sliding window approach. So uh, means the maximum window here. Right. So for that, we'll be using a concept of sliding window to generate uh, the maximum length subsequences such that it does not contain a 2 or 0 or a 2. So basically what you can do and that you can do in just O of n. So basically whenever you are iterating 0, 2, let me just say like okay I will have two pointers capital L and capital uh, you know previous L let me just call it not L because it will create confusion. Let me just say like it is previous L. Previous L is the you know the last position where you encountered a 0 or so basically the last position where you encountered a 0 or 2 here so basically uh, uh, let me just take another example this is uh, 2 mainstream okay uh, yeah so basically the previous L is nothing but the last occurrence of 0 or 2 whenever you are seeing the array we will initiate previous L with equal to minus 1 because you have not seen any of them till now and whenever you encounter a 2 right uh, suppose like this is the array 1 3 uh, 0 not 0 let me just say here 2 this will be enough for explanation I guess so basically when you are when you got this uh, 2 here right so basically you can say like what is the previous L uh, which you can go right that is minus 1 here so basically you won't have any numbers to its left so basically you will have you know uh, 0 plus 1 to its left and the right elements you can just iterate till you get a 0 or 2 right so basically just after this you have again 0 so basically for this again you will have 0 elements to it right as well because just the next element is 0 so basically you have here 1 into 1 that is 1 also you can see only subsequence you can make is just to select a singleton 2 right now previous L becomes uh, now you see uh, saw 0 at position 1 right so the previous L became uh, now the previous L is 1 right this is previous L then you encountered 1 then you encountered 2 now this is an interesting case now this is 0 1 uh, the position index I am talking about let me write it with different color so it is easier 0 1 2 3 now the current index of position 2 is 3 so what you can do is 3 minus previous L so basically this will give you 3 minus you know 1 that is equal to 2 so basically you can have two positions uh, to its left uh, to its uh, you know left not 0 here sorry I marked 0 by mistake so basically two positions what I mean by two position is uh, this one and two itself right so basically you will have three minus previous L that is nothing but two position to its left and then again you can iterate to right till you get a two so basically you will have again uh, you know three ele uh, two elements to its right so basically your answer will be two into two plus one so here it will be two into three that is six small subsequences you can make here right and then this way we can get the total number of subsequences and we can just subtract it from the total number of subsequence right so this was easy let's go to, to the code uh, then you will be more clear so if you see here I just initiated uh, initialize the variables right and then I'm taking the input and then when I'm taking the input and converting it to absolute value why absolute value because it was given that the number can be negative as well right so even if the number is negative still our condition holds so we can just take its absolute value because if you see the product of a negative number if you have a number minus x then the product if suppose uh, it was suppose like x into y was uh, equal to p then minus x uh, x into y was p then minus x into y would be nothing but minus p right and if p was equal to a square minus b square then minus p will be nothing but minus of a square minus b square 
so which is b square minus a square so a negative number a negative number won't impact much to the case so we can just convert it to absolute value and then if you can see i just converted into mod 4 why mod 4 i already explained you that right because we are already taking the product of numbers and you know we are just considered we are we just consider what will be the mod 4 value that's why mod 4 and then count equal to 0 and then basically i am iterating the previous l is nothing but minus 1 and j is the auxiliary variable here so uh, basically i am starting from 0 and going till l uh, doing i plus plus if a of i equal to 0 then the previous l will become i because you know we have to find the previous l value which is having 0 or 1 so basically if it is a 0 it won't con contribute to any bad subsequences it will only contribute when it is uh, equal to 2 now this is an interesting case when it is equal to 2 i am starting my j variable from i plus 1 till l and j plus plus and if i am seeing like okay if a of j equal to 0 or a of j equal to 2 then break because that is the total number of elements i can go to the right right i cannot take a 0 or 2 into my consideration and j will be the minimum of n comma j why so because suppose like you went out of the bounds and you didn't get a 0 or 2 till the end of the array that's why you have to take minimum of n comma j right and then count plus plus equal to i minus l that is i minus previous l uh, into j minus i j minus i will be giving you the number of elements to its right and right plus 1 and i minus l will be giving you number of elements to its left uh, minus 1 and then i am just updating i to j minus 1 why so because if i have iterated 1 and 3 suppose i don't need to check again right these numbers because these numbers won't contribute to any bad subsequence uh, suppose i was here something like this and then i already checked till 0 i found j equal to this uh, 0 1 2 3 uh, j was equal to 3 here so basically i will just put uh, i equal to 2 so as when it will go to the next iteration it will become i i plus plus by 3 so basically uh, the whole approach will be o of n because every element you will be just uh, seeing it at max once right and then seeing it just by once and finally the count is the total number of uh, subsequences required that is no nothing but n into n plus 1 by 2 the total number of subsequences minus the number of bad subsequences see if you am just uh, adding it to the count variable right so uh, the final answer will be final result is equal to total subsequences minus bad subsequences right and then i am just outputting the answer so that was all if you have any doubts do mention them in the comment section below do subscribe to my channel for more such content and yeah happy coding thank you